Welcome everybody to the channel. My name is Kyla Mayho and today we're going to go over a decimal comparator project. First things first, when we start programming a project, we have to read the problem and of course set up our ID. On the left hand side, we have an ID for all you beginner Java programmers out here. It's called IntelliJ. I have the community edition. It's in the description below if you guys want to check that out. This problem I also got from a programming course on Udemy. If you guys want to check out that course, it'll be in the description below as well. But enough with the little intros. Let's get it started. So here we have the decimal comparator where we're going to compare up to two decimal places. We write a method with two parameters of type double. The method should return boolean and it needs to return true if the two double numbers are the same up to two decimal places, otherwise return false. Then we have our three test numbers at the bottom. So here, instead of doing it in one project, I did it in two, just to practice good OOP, and it's just good in Java. If you guys don't know what OOP is, it's just object-oriented programming. It's basically setting up for you to share your code with other people. So if you guys have any errors when you guys try to run this, I will leave the source code also in the description below. So let's start off with the method. It's going to be a public static method. It's going to return type boolean since we have to return true or false. I'm going to just name the method compare. It's easy enough. And then double, I'm going to say number one, double number two. doesn't matter what you name the parameters. In this case, you can name them anything. And in order to compare these two decimals, I'm going to do something called typecasting. I'm going to cast the double to an integer, and then... From there, we are going to compare the two numbers and state if they are true or false. My typecast variables are going to be number, we're going to do num1 equals typecast int number 1 times 100. Since we only want to move the decimal place over two places, int number two. We'll do the same thing for the second number. Here on these two lines, on line six and seven, literally all we're doing is moving the decimal place over two places and switching them to an integer. That's the point of typecasting. Because it'd be really hard to compare the two doubles in this case. If you guys want to see it, sometimes it's easier to see it written down. So if we move the first example over two decimal places, it'd be three point, I'm sorry, it'd be one, it'd be three, one, two, point three, and negative three, one, two, point three. So right there, we'll see we should get a printout of false because the two numbers aren't exactly the same. Now that we have typecasted on line six and seven, we are going to compare our new variables to each other and return true if the two numbers match. So now that we have our decimal comparator class set up, I'm going to switch over to the main method so we can test our decimal comparator to see if it works. So here on this line we're calling our decimal comparator class we're calling the constructor. Now I am going to put our where we basically call our methods from our decimal comparator class in a print line so that we can see the false or the true actually print out to the terminal console. So we're still going to call the class which is using decimal and then we use the dot to call the method. The method was called compare. There we go. And then we're going to put in the first two numbers. 
not moved over by the decimal point. So we can get an accurate reading. We'll just run the first one. That's all we have to do to set up the main method and run and see it. So we run it. And we got to print out a false. So it works. Just so you guys can see the other two examples, I'm going to copy line 7, Control C if you're on Windows, Control V if you want to paste it. Then we're just going to replace the numbers here 2.342. And 2.323. Then the last example, 2.314 and 2.314. And we will switch it right here ahead of time. We'll do the work before the computer does the work for us, just so we know what the answer should be before the computer spits it out. So as you can see there, it's not the same, so it should print out false. And then the last example, that should print out true. So let's run it and see if we get the same results. And we do. We get two falses and a true. So I hope you guys learned something new. I hope you guys were coding with me. If you weren't, I suggest you guys rewind the video and code with me. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to leave it in the comments below. Go ahead and like, subscribe, share if you'd like. And I hope you guys have a great day. See you guys next time. Bye.